Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We will turn our attention now to a book. Well, we'll talk about that now. I'm saying Nko Dumake joins us. He's the author of the book in question, Watch the Watcher. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you guys. Is this a sequel? I mean, many will ask. Why the book, Watch the Watcher? Well, I think it's a, a public intellectual duty to set the record straight to let those who have been in charge of affairs and those who are still in charge of affairs to know that a time has come for us as a people, as victims of their misrule, not to forget. Um, we're a funny place. It's, it's beginning to occur to me that uh, if in this country today we want to organize a conference or a seminar on the evil of rape, we may invite a serial rapist as guest lecturer and come and pontificate on the evils, evils of rape. Someone that we know is a satisfied serial rapist. It's not just impossible in this country today that um, the friends of uh, Lawrence Anini may gather for his remembrance and put an advert to say that they are remembering a great industrialist who contributed to the rebuilding of our economy. Because we have allowed these things to go on, that we allow people to falsify history, and because our collective memory is so short, so this book is part of, you know, increasing the capacity of our collective memory card, so that we can put, you know, the English taught the word how to do it. They had this, this burglar, and when he died, he's a notorious daredevil. They put on his tombstone, here lies a burglar. This stone was bought with the money found on him. This is the essence of this book. Now, this book comes after the, uh, My Watch was published yeah. by former President Tobias Sonjo, and several parts of that book. Does this book, this is just to it, does it sufficiently, you think, set the record straight, or you chose some part of what was said in My Watch and responded to it? Interestingly, I have not even read his book when I finished this book. But I've always thought of uh, doing a, a book of and I remember that when I was president in 2005, I did an article in the Guardian. Uh, a few months after I did that article, I, I thought they did the who in Obasanjo. And a few months after that article was published by the Guardian, Obasanjo had the opportunity to lock me up in Panty for six days. You know, I believed, I've been curious that what, what kind of man is this that knows all the right things only when he's not in office. He's the longest serving president in this country. Three years as military, eight years as civilian. 11 to 54 years. But what he does, he makes a career, you know, of, oh, these are the right things to do. This is what's been wrong. And he believes, he has so much of what is called selective integrity. When I do it, it is right. When others do it, it is wrong. So, I've, what, 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 what really uh, made me to, uh, these ideas have carried my head over the years. And so, but when I, I now got notice that I was coming again with another book, my watch. What's this man watching? I mean, a man whose record is a public domain, who's every, every if, I've re if I've read this book, there are, after, apart from my own thoughts here, there are 25 witnesses I've called here. So wait, were you writing the book almost uh, simultaneously with when he was writing his book? Well, it's, like I said, in fact, I can, write, I can write volume two of this book in the next one week because this is a subject I know so well. And it amazes me when this man continues to grandstand, you know, to swing from side to side, rocking, you know, and, you know, and giving it, lectures. It, it's, it's amazing because yeah. you say you haven't read the book, so uh, it, it would be hard for you to now think that that No, no, I said I've not, I said, I said I've not read, read the book it, at the okay. time I was writing I said, this. I said at the time you were writing yeah. this, but you have read the book. I've read this book now. So what's wrong in that book? It's, 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 a, it's, a pack, it's a package of lies. I want to know the lies. Well, Let's for, ask, for, because, for instance... Oh, oh, uh, sorry, yeah. Hold, yeah. a minute, yeah. because yeah. I have also read the book. Yeah. Volume one is about his military career, yes. then volume two is the main deal from when he left prison yeah. and how he came to be the president and uh, the volume three, the here and there. Yeah. But uh, for people like yourself that 
you, you, you've been around and uh, you say some of them are pockets of lies here and there. Uh, maybe if we start from the volume two after, because that's the main interest of Nigerians. Uh, yeah. The military career is not the <laughs> real deal now. Volume two, from when he became president and so many other issues, he has dropped names, mentioned some people. And so for some young Nigerians, they feel that this is history. He's just reminded them of what transpired at that time that they were not privy to. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not history. It's rewriting history. Uh, and if you look at all the testimony that have come out, Professor Shrenka has come out on this book. Chief Oshoba at my lunch came out. And in fact, I can corroborate all the things Chief Oshoba said because I was part of all those meetings around three. For General Bastion to come out, and tell Nigerians that he was not aware of any pact with AD 2003. It was his deputy, Atiku. Atiku never featured in all those talks. All the meetings held with Obasanjo, I was present. Because I was Secretary of Affairs. The first meeting we had with Obasanjo was in his, in his home in Ota. That very day, when we got there, um, Chief Senator Adebaradisa of blessed memory led the Affairs delegation. All the AD governors, except uh, uh, Senator Bolas in the of Lagos, were there because that time we had this argument with Daudu in Lagos and the rest of them. We had uh, uh, Chief Su Adibayo, Senator Femi Okunumu, Chief Ayodo Banjo, and a few of our leaders. And in fact, at that meeting that the upper senator got up, I remember clearly he was on his feet. And that day he had the walking stick because he had a bad leg. And I remember Chief Oshoba asked him to sit down. I was just saying, no, 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 I cannot sit down in front of my leaders. We had the first meeting in Ota. The second meeting held in the prayer lodge in Ogun State. That day, it came with Chief Bode George and uh, Chief Mike, Chief Tudor These are people who are alive. After he started his funny game, Saint Patrick said he involved the Abuja of Chief Bode, Chief Bola Nibonigi, Bishop Bola Nibonigi, and other headers that. I think what Obasanjo is trying to do is ambush. And he said it to his face that in the military, when they want to capture an enemy, the first thing to do is to surrender and lure the person. And now, for, this was 2003. For Obasanjo to, to write a book in 2014 and say that he never had any such thing, it was his, it was his uh, tipu that was in it. I mean, what kind of man would do that? So for you, this is a personal chronicle of you know, what happened. This is about Obasanjo. It's, it's, about, it's not about it as a person. It's about his years in our public life. Mm -hmm. Either as uh, head of state, as president, and as a man who continues to inter interfere in affairs. For instance, have you not forgotten? I mean, I'm talking of something that happened in the closet. While you were in this country, when Tottenham business was going on, you have asked centers who had come out to say we are was given money. He spoke about it in his book too. Yes. I mean, for, for, for this man to come before Nigerians and say that I never wanted to time. When we know how do you think how the struggle all of us were involved in if, and how the thing collapsed in the Senate, the kind of money that was moving around, said what about a graduate interview said it was over 250 million naira. And now for this man to come out and say that. There's no such thing. We need to continue to put he, the he did, Well, you know, I have also read excerpts of that particular book, even though it's been very difficult to finish a yeah. particular volume. Yeah. But I've read excerpts of it. He did not say that he was not aware. You know, he said he was very aware of the moves, but it was nothing personal by or from his own side. It was from, from those around him who were pushing for their own selfish interests to see if they could get a third term. Do you really think he had much of a control over that? If, if what they were trying to do was amend the constitution, they were trying to do it constitutionally, as it were. Is is uh, even it's not only me saying this now. Even when you read this book, I have reproduced the letter to him by his own daughter, Yabo Basinjo. We are which is in public domain. Is it the yes. same? Is it the same one that was written yes. last year in 2013? Yes. Where she said that he, 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 he told his father that the third time thing was planning was not good. So for him, for him now to now come out and say that it's, it's people around him, Abba, they want to violate the Nigerian constitution, 
you took the country on that big ride, and you are saying that you don't know anything about this. Well, you who are these people? You say that this book is meant to awaken our memory. Yes. President Obasanjo is not running for office. To what end is this book written? Because for him, he's written a book, sort of given a stewardship for the eight years or how many years he was in office serving Nigeria. This is his own personal account from his perspective. What do you think this book, you know, what is it meant to serve? It's because, it's, it's for, for once, to let him know that we know. That we're not just, you know, the other time, you know, when himself and uh, Babangida got to this altercation, I think sometime two years ago, and he called, yes, uh, Babangida, you fool. And Babangida said he's a bigger fool. I remember it was, it was that said that way. If those who have ruled us for about 20 years out of 54 years, I call them fools. Does this suggest that we are a nation of idiots? It's to, it's to let people like Jinnah know that we are not idiots. We know. We are victims. The rapists may have forgotten. The person raped cannot forget. It's to set the record straight. To put our authentic history beside their own geography. Attempts to falsify history. To put the wolves over the SYP. Like I said, you know, if an Amrava begin to post as an industrialist, it's a dis no, no, no. But, but Mr. Dumake, yeah, some but... people will say that the timing of this book is on now because you know that uh, some people did go to court to secure uh, a, a, a ban on the release of the book or the pub publication yes. of the book. And so right now, some yes. people say they suspect the timing. They say this is a hatchet job for the current president. What do you say about that? Well, comments are free. Opinions are questionable. Opinion and diagnosis. We all have their different shifts and sizes. People are free to say, I say, it's a duty to the public. Uh, those who feel like that can also write the book of Asanjo and tell us anything contrary to this here. And, and, and I said that the present the book, you know, like fella will say, fella sang a song and said, well, me fella, I challenge your Basanjo now, why you deal with the time? Make a carry me go any court, I go open book for him. We have opened the book. Let him and the sympathizers who are making this kind of claim. Is there, anything positive? Counter, counter is, is, is there anything positive? It would seem that, you know, all that you have are, are the mistakes, the errors he's made in this particular book. Do you yeah. have anything that says, you know, this is also what you did right, but in, maybe in the term, in process of doing it right, this was what you did wrong as well? Read the book.